All right, guys, what I'm going to try to do here is kind of explain what you see when you open up uh, True Space 7.61. The I call it the full version because it comes with um, the Legacy True Space 6.6 uh, .6 mode, which is basically what it is. It's just a gigantic plug-in. Um, and I'll give you a little show. When you first start off, you're in uh, True Space 7.6. And you can do, you know, a bunch of modeling. I mean, you know, it's for a hell of it. I'm going to add a little square, pink. And it's hard to see because I have my textures messed with. Um, but what I'm trying to explain here is you have the 7.6 mode. And you also have True Space 6.6. .6 which you can go over to here. If you click on a 6.6, .6, True Space 6, it goes to the old uh, True Space 6 modeler. And you're wondering why they did it. Again, it's because it's a plug-in because the True Space 6.6 .6 has a ton of plugins that people still used. So they just added them together. And you can use this legacy mode. It's also called the model side. You'll hear it referred to either legacy or model side and you can use this side actually if you want to create content for like say old game engines um, such as Torque 3D um, there is a little plugin for uh, getting over to uh, reality factor dot actor models and uh, you can save out uh, you can import and export in a few more formats than you can in the 7.6 one now all I'm going to do is go back to uh, the workspace mode and you'll see that these windows here disappeared but let me bring these back out and now in order to get say you can't bring animations from one side to the other but what you can do is bring objects and you'll see the settings and there's this thing called the bridge and if you leave it set to auto you can transfer your shapes from one side to the other that way you can go over and use say the uh, built-in render engine lightworks to render out your work um, but if you switch it to off basically what it's going to do is whatever side of the program you're on it's going to shut off the other side which helps saves uh, usage on your computer so you can run other programs. If you plan on using just a 7.6 or a 6.6, .6, you could turn your bridge off. But a lot of times, just leave it to auto or on. And let me see here. I think it's pretty much explains just a real simple uh, of what true space is and how it can get very confusing because you can actually work in a workspace or the model this way and you actually keep a lot of uh, the 7.6 icons up all right um i hope i explained it and you're not too confused all right guys thanks for uh watching this and i'm going to stop it